In the quiet, forgotten town of Blackwater, a sinister secret lurked beneath the surface. As the crimson sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows on the dilapidated houses, Emma and Thomas, a young couple deeply in love, arrived at their newly purchased home. The house, known as the Bloodwood Manor, had an infamous history. The townsfolk whispered of a dark curse that plagued the manor for centuries. Lovebirds who moved in never came out the same. The curse was said to twist their love into something unnatural, something that defied both life and death. Emma and Thomas, fascinated by the macabre, purchased the mansion, dismissing the curse as mere folklore. Their love was unbreakable, they thought. As they settled into their new home, they discovered an intricately carved door in the attic, locked and seemingly untouched for ages. Determined to unravel the house's secrets, they found the key hidden beneath the floorboards. The door led to a hidden chamber adorned with roses and candlelight. In the center, a large ornate mirror stood, reflecting an eerie and distorted image of the room. It was said to be the love's mirror, a portal that bound the souls of lovers together for eternity. As they gazed into the mirror, an invisible force seized them, binding their souls together in a powerful and inexplicable union. Their love became something tangible, a shimmering and otherworldly entity that pulsed with energy. But their union was not what they expected. It wasn't just their love that intertwined, it was their pain, their fear, and their darkest desires. The mirror showed them visions of past lovers who had been consumed by the curse, their love turned to madness. Emma and Thomas were trapped, struggling to break free from the mirror's grip. The house seemed to come alive with malevolence. Whispers of past residents filled their ears, and ghostly figures appeared, tortured souls bound to the mirror. In a heart-stopping twist, the mirror offered them a choice. They could sacrifice their love, their happiness, to free the tortured souls and end the curse, or they could embrace the curse and be bound to the mirror for all eternity. In a moment of heart-wrenching decision, they chose to break the curse. Their love, pure and selfless, shattered the mirror, releasing the tormented souls and ending the centuries-old curse. As the mirror splintered, a blinding light enveloped the room. When the light faded, Emma and Thomas were forever changed. Their love was no longer bound by the house's curse, but they carried with them the memories of the tormented souls they had freed. The town of Blackwater would forever remember the couple who had broken the curse and released the spirits from their torment. It was a tale of love that defied even the darkest of curses. As the sun rose, casting a golden glow on the once-dreaded Bloodwood Manor, Emma and Thomas left the town, their love stronger and more profound than ever. They had faced the curse and triumphed, proving that true love could overcome even the most sinister of forces.